Alright, welcome back finally. Missed the day yesterday, but that's because I'm making the assembling machine. Basic low voltage assembler. And it takes frickin' forever. I'm working my butt off trying to get enough steel done. Finally, have everything I need. Uh, where is my wrench? My wrench is right here, dummy. Okay, put that right there. Give me one of them. Give me one of them. Now, this should be able to, yep, see right through there. Now, I gotta get. Thought I was done. In case anybody didn't know, these industrial hemp fibers turn right into string. So it's a great thing to have. Why did I throw that in there? That was just dumb. It's a great thing to have with Greg Tech, especially now that Blood added the. Uh, need for string to make low voltage wires and I went in the nether a little bit and went looking around in there found a sulfur pyrite sphalerite vein connected to a chalcopyrite copper iron vein. There we go. Finally. Freaking basic assembly machine. Oh, never been so happy to see this thing. Now we can finally make copper wires in here, but we have to put liquid rubber in here, which is going to be the other problem is now we're going to have to figure out how to get these amounts that we need in here until we can make another one because we're going to need one with rubber and and if I want to use it instead of a carpenter to make peat, I'm going to need one with water. And for making circuits, because I can now make, um, let me look it up real quick and show you. If I can spell circuit. Is it CUI? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it's CI. No U. Okay. NAND chips can be made in an assembler with one of these, one of these, and soldering alloy. And these can be made in there with two NAND chips and a basic circuit board and soldering alloy. Now basic circuit board we need a whole bunch of other stuff because we're going to have to have silicone plates which means we got to get our industrial blast furnace done. We got to have these which means we got to have a laser etcher. So a lot more before we're going to be able to do that but at least we can make the NAND chips in there. But to do that, we got to put soldering alloy in. So we're going to need at least two of these, possibly three. And right now, my biggest problem is keeping my power up. And then when I get it real high like that, having something that I need to get done so I know what 
I can process. Right now I've basically been working on iron because the next thing we're probably going to do is the industrial blast furnace. Because waiting on this stupid uh, hold on. <laughs> waiting on this stupid bronze brass furnace blast furnace out here is freaking taking forever. I need to go down and check on something. I am thinking about making an immersive engineering blast furnace. I usually don't make anything but Greg Tech blast furnaces, but I figure what the hell we might try one. See how well it works. I need to check on my chickens. Hey, y'all grew up. That's good. I'm hopefully going to get Junior on here this evening. And he's going to build his restaurant over there. I really don't know why I have any of you guys in here. Because I really don't need you in here. The ones I do have, I all but two, I just put in here so I could get some feathers, so I can make some arrows, so I can kill gas in the nether. One too many. Um, you know what? I think the first thing I'm going to make is a daggone muffler for that daggone macerator. That's the first thing I'm going to make. My new assembly. And in comes the rain. Oh. Another thing I wanted to make is a personal anchor. I'm not on a server, so I don't need a world anchor. World anchors are just to keep the chunks loaded while you're not online and that doesn't work when I'm playing in a single player world so I'm just going to make a personal anchor and I'm probably going to put it like right up there so it's out of the way and then it'll keep the surrounding chunks loaded for me while I go somewhere else. Mainly I need it so it'll keep them loaded while I go to the nether. Now we want to get away from that noisy thing. We want a muffler. Muffler upgrade. We need wrought iron and wood pulp, aluminum plate and wood pulp, or polyurethane pulp, which we don't even know how to make yet. Wrought iron, regular iron, regular iron, and wood pulp. Now, wood pulp we should be able to make just by putting 
wood into a macerator. See any wood log should do the trick. And we need mainly one. So if we got any we'll put one of these in and go ahead and make one iron plate. Give me this for a second. Turn that off. You want to make sure you turn that off because I have the pipe. It'll get stuck in the pipe. And then you either have to break the pipe or put a chest beside the pipe to get it out. Come on, give me my pulp. Make me a muffler. Um, now, for anybody that doesn't know, which if you played with Greg Tech, you know how these blast furnaces go. But just in case somebody's watching that hasn't, this is what we're talking about. An electric blast furnace. It takes 16 heating coils. That's the main part that's a pain in the ass. Everything else is pretty easy, except it's a butt ton of freaking steel that's needed. Um, you need one input, one output, um, which actually you're going to need two inputs because you're going to need one input for oxygen, one input for solid material like iron, or aluminum so we're gonna need two inputs one output um, energy hatches we're gonna need four of them because we're gonna have to do um, low voltage at the moment because we have no way of making aluminum to make medium voltage so we're gonna have to have four energy hatches we're going to need a maintenance hatch and a muffler hatch so two input one output four energy a maintenance and a muffler that's nine now those will take up your um, heat proof machine casings will go top and bottom and you'll have 18 of those total. And we have nine of them that are going to be hatches of some kind. So we're only going to need nine of those plus there's one right here that's needed. So we need 10 of these. Now to make these, we have to make these and surround them with ingbar and use your hammer and wrench. Now, we can make these on a lathe and get two of them, plus a little ingvar back, or one of them, and get a little bit of ingvar back. Or we can extrude them, but we can't do that until we get to the next level. So, we can either build a lathe and get basically one and a half out of each ink bar or we can just use our file and get one now I'll decide in a little bit how we're gonna which way we're gonna go with this but basically if we need five sets of frames that's gonna be a maximum of 
8 times 5, that's 40 Ingvar for that part. Then we need 6 per each one of these, which, like we said, is 10 of them that we need. So that's another 60. So we need a hundred Ingvar. Now Ingvar is two thirds iron and one third nickel. So I have been making nickel like it's my job. Put that right there. Now shut up, you stupid thing. That's the only one I'm really worried about. Everything else is pretty negatable on its noise. It's not as long, not as loud. I'm drowned to drinking smoothies and juices. I've ate all the different things that juniors made for me this is the blast furnace recipe we're talking about I'm guessing it's gonna need 27 I could be wrong um, but we're gonna need nether bricks which isn't a problem we can get that out of nether rack this is what we need is a blaze powder so I gotta go look for that. Where are you at, Noisy? Trying to record a video, trying to talk to the people, and you're just out here making all kinds of freaking racket. And now that I hit you, everybody's gonna come and make racket. As they do. Hey, give me lava. And this is what I've been doing for two days. Filling lava boilers, waiting on steel, and making some of the most pain in the butt components in this entire freaking pack. In case anybody doesn't know, that assembler is made out of conveyor modules, which is two motors, rubber, and a tin cable. Motors, we've been making those like crazy. Um, robotic arms, you need two of these, which are a real pain in the ass, because you got to have motors, you got to have a piston, which is made like this with another freaking motor. This is why I need so much steel. And then more steel and its own damn circuit. And then you gotta have two of them, two of them, two circuits, two tin wires. It was mainly these robotic arms that were the pain in the ass. That's why I don't like making them. And we need to get some more. Let's see, I only need 16 of these in here. That's all it can do in one run. But I'm going to be needing a lot of steel to get this done. So I'm going to, in between this video and the next one, try to get in and find some uh, another fortress. Um, I'm not going to record it because with all the mods I have in here, it tends to lag a bit in the nether. It doesn't do it when I'm not recording. It only does it when I'm recording. So, I'm not going to record me searching around the nether. I'm just going to go in and find a blaze spawner and kill me a couple blazes and 
come back, so not a whole lot to miss other than if I get killed by a wither or something, but should be okay. And I don't think I'm going to make the lathe. I think I'm just going to pass on it because the only other thing you really need a lathe for is the uh, screws. And I'm not making a whole lot of them right now. And the biggest problem with making the lathe is I have to have a diamond, which I don't have right now. Um, I can make an industrial diamond now because I can get coal from right underneath my base to make the coal chunks. Um, and I can get obsidian now. And with an assembler, I can use, uh, where's that? Bricks. So I might actually make a couple industrial diamonds. Um, cause I am going to want a, uh, lathe, but I don't know if I'm going to make it first or not because it's going to take more steel. You know, I gotta have eight more steel for this. I gotta have two steel for each of these. Plus, I gotta have the NAND chips will take sh casings, which is another thing I want to show you guys. I had forgotten all about this one. Um, this right here. Nope, that's not it. I picked the worst place to put this thing. This right here is a casing mold, which if you put it in a um, alloy smelter, you can get two to make three. So it's not the four that we'll normally get, but it's a little bit better, so it saves us on a little bit of iron. And I had forgotten all about that one. Um, I wonder, can I make steel, let's see, fluid, I don't know, steel, I want molten steel. Um, molten steel tank, which will just show me the tank. Molten steel. Ugh, 60 EU. Damn it. So what I was thinking was I could use a fluid solidifier and a fluid extractor and make my rods that way. But since it's 60 EU, I have to have a medium voltage for it. So that is not going to be an option. And why are we full on power? Why is there only 32 in there? There should have been 64. What did I do wrong? Oh well. We'll just make some more. Because we're going to need... Oh, that's the problem. There's your problem. You're a dumbass. Okay. Let that run. Now, after we get our steel problem taken care of... Yeah, I know, you're bitching. I didn't realize you were full. Shut up. You're not going to be full for long. Throw that one in there. 
after we get the uh, industrial blast furnace made or the immersive engineering blast furnace made, um, we can actually make an array for these. Uh, the main reason why I haven't done it yet is I need a lot of these pipes and it needs a lot of steel to make them and once I get an IBF I can make stainless steel which is even better um, basically what we'll do is we'll have a row of them here we'll have a row of them here with water lines running underneath them um, pipes on top to suck it out and then one big ass pipe that runs straight up to the thing and actually we're gonna have to make another one of those because we're gonna have to have one to feed our four LV hatches so there might be a couple videos coming that way you guys can see my progress that I don't actually get anything done it's just gonna be kinda update videos to show you what's going on I finally got enough jungle saplings that I could make a good 2x2 two two jungle tree which means I can usually get more uh, jungle saplings off of it I like to have each one of the different kinds of trees that way if I decide I want to build in a certain way I've got the wood to do it well I still gotta decide what to do with that right there kinda looks goofy but I think what I'm gonna do is take out these six blocks right here I'm gonna put marble there I haven't decided yet but I'm trying to decide where I want to take a snapshot at to use for my um, thumbnail for this because I do want to get some thumbnails for this series so let's see if we can stop taking thumbnails in the wrong place all right, back on it. Stop it. See, I'm thinking something like that right there might look nice. So that's what we're gonna try. getting all kinds of saplings built up that way I can make me some bio diesel soon I'm gonna have to use forestry I do believe because I don't think that they ever got the fermenter for Greg Tech to actually do the fermenting Every other freaking forestry operation is done in Greg Tech machines. But for some reason, that is not. So I'm probably going to have to make a fermenter to do that. Now, there is one for immersive engineering, which we will make eventually, but that thing is outrageously hard. And if I remember correctly, it only uses seeds. So it's going to be a little more difficult to do we're actually gonna to have to make a harvester make a big ass wheat farm to get our seeds that's basically what we're doing and that's basically what we got going on and now I'm going to end the video and go play in the nether, see if I can find me a fortress, and hopefully be back 
later on this evening and we can attempt to make an immersive engineering blast furnace. Which I do want to look real quick. Where is my book? It should tell me in here. Uh, let's see. Hemp, coke oven, blast furnace. Used to increase the carbon content in iron, turning it to steel. Pure high carbon fuels may be used. Coal, coke, and charcoal. Good, I can use charcoal. Steel created in blast furnace is an integral part of high voltage architecture. Form blast furnace arranged 27 of these blocks in a 3x3. Three three. So we might as well make two because we're going to end up with an even amount of blocks and we need an odd to make the structure. So 27, that'll be 40, 54. So we're going to need 27 blaze powder. We're going to get about 3 blaze powder per rod. So we're going to need about 9 blaze rods to make this thing. Plus I want to get one to make me a uh, uh, potion thingy. And I'll probably need another one because one thing I've never done with Greg Tech is make potions. So I might actually try that out. So, like I said, I'm out of here. I'm going to go play in the nether. Make a whole bunch of steel. So I can get all these hatches made. And hopefully I'll be back with you later. And we can try to make an immersive engineering blast furnace. If not later tonight, we'll do it tomorrow. So, have a good one guys. Take it easy. Catch you next time.